Scepter Display's 27-inch FreeSync curved gaming monitor has a 144Hz refresh rate, an 1800R curvature, a full 1080p HD resolution, and 16.7 million colors all packed into a sleek, slim, and thin bezel design. Scepter, the official display of Dare Rising. Oh! Oh! This is what we do when we try to get lit. Before a day video, baby. All I'm gonna say is that we're gonna have something for you guys, a house obviously for you guys, before 2019. What's going on guys, Tanja here with our first ever Dare to Ask episode one. I'm here with Tyla and Stats. This episode is really simple and OG, it's just straight up Q&A. And I don't know, we've never done one of these, I don't think so at least, but this is definitely the first Dare to Ask, so we thought, you know what, it's us three together, which is, you know, answer some questions from you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy, if you wanna see more of these, let us know. And I'm gonna stop talking, let's just get right into it. First question, drum roll please, editor. Question is, from, is now, now I'm going nuts. First question is from Ad. <laughs> First question is from Ad Zerbzi. Why do we strive for perfection if it is not attainable? Who said you do that? You don't. You don't strive uh, for perfection. Me personally, I never strive to be perfect because you can't be perfect and no one's perfect. And the whole point of life for me is that you wanna wake up and be like, all right, like you need something to work towards and you always want to be better and better. That's why, you know, life's like dope, you know? You'll never be perfect, but there's always something you can improve on. If it's, you wanna be in the gym, you wanna make your streams better, you wanna be a better person, you know, something like that. So I don't know where you heard that quote from, but I personally don't roll with that quote. I would say strive to be the best version of yourself. That That's you true. true, that's true. Just don't, don't focus on what other people are doing, just be the best person you can be focus on what you're doing and only that i agree with that work tyler what do you say what's perfect there's no definition for perfect so zorby all three of us is a three for three i honestly don't know where you heard that quote for from <laughs> but all right that was a good question i like it. you guys thinking question two number two from bayonet hashtag dare to ask what do you guys prefer watching on dare the sniping uploads or the camps um since i just asked i mean got reddit i've always been a trick shotter at heart so I love my snipers and my dare snipers know that, but I've always been a trick shotter. That's what I was before dare. So I have to go with my trick shotting in the cams. It's just dare cams are fucking legendary. Any, you know, team Taj's that are cams are just fucking dope. Um, I don't know what Tyler's got to say. <laughs> she, she likes watching trick shots low key. Yeah, yeah. I would she likes say watching the cams, all of it. For sure. Yeah, I like watching trick shotting. Yep, dare cams is OG. I used to love watching dare cams back Especially in the day. when you get your, like, you'd see your clips and shit yep. in there. Cause like, you know, I used to be a fan. I'm sure Sam used to be a fan. Yep. And then like watching it is just dope. So definitely no hate to the snipers. I love the snipers, but I'm a trick shot at heart. Shout out Derek Hans, baby. Okay, next question is by Huncho Nelson. Hashtag dare to ask, which moment in dare was your most memorable? For me, it was becoming the stream lead. That was like crazy and wild to me. Like that's, it, it was a huge achievement, so. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah, that's, I could guess that. For me, um, I don't know, I feel like everybody might say this, mine was probably joining D.A.R.E. or getting leader of D.A.R.E. because I was the D.A.R.E. fanboy, like I used to fanboy D.A.R.E. and face so badly back in the day, I never in my life thought I'd be in D.A.R.E. Still, to me, thinking about this this day, owning D.A.R.E. and just, you know, all this shit is crazy. So, joining D.A.R.E. or getting promoted to a leader, I, I don't know, every day I still look at it and I'm like, holy crap, like, it's crazy. But, uh... I would say, mm, I want to say joining Dare because I was like the first That's basic, but like, team I was in, and it was awesome. But I would probably say meeting everyone for the first time. Like when I met oh, Matt, Matt, too. Matt, Matt and Chris, too. I met them, That's or good. Tanzer and Laxo, I met them at PAX 2017 for the first time. And that was the first time I've ever met like internet. And now we've been online. hanging out at like four and, events already, yeah, stuff and, like that. So That's that crazy. That was definitely a big moment. That's a good one. That was a good one. I don't know who asked. Whoever said that one, that was a good one. We're three for three. All right, uh, next question. Question number four from at Caros. What's your favorite thing about being in D.A.R.E.? And if you change or add one thing, what would it be? <laughs> Dude, you guys are pretty good at these. Yeah, like, what? Yeah. Um, 
I'd say my favorite thing about D.A.R.E. is like, everyone's really dedicated in every single event. Everyone wants to go, go and like, like there's some teams who like, they don't have houses. They don't go to every event. They're not like, like D.A.R.E. We yeah. always want to go to every as many events as we can, and we all always want to stay. We want to always be with each yeah, other. We're we never want to leave each, each other. other. Yep. Um, that's that's only one part of the question. I don't know. Mine is definitely. I love like who I'm surrounded with, and like we all get up and like just motivate each other. We push each other, and that's you know that's you in life just in general like that that's that's hard to get. So definitely that. And you know, I've always been a Dare fanboy, so that part, but definitely being my surroundings. If there's one thing I wanted to change about Dare. Uh, Dare Maji, you gotta go, man. <laughs> Dare Maji. That way. I'm not expecting that. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was totally for the video. I fucking love Maji. I would change. I would make I us verify. I would. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah. That's a good one. We should be verified on Twitter. We need more streamers. Everyone tweet at. Verified right now. Actually, don't do that. I don't even know. We, we should be verified though. Uh, Tyler, what Personally, do you say? I think we need more streamers. That's one thing I would Intel, change. Intel, hashtag Derek Twitch community, hashtag tweet Tyler your streams, hashtag Dare to Achieve. <laughs> All right. Question number five from Merka Dare to Ask What are some good tips to get noticed by leaders and owners, and what are your plans for the future? We got a little dual question here. Um, tips to get noticed. Everyone says this stuff, so I know I say this stuff myself in so many streams or Twitter. I always say this, and some people just don't get it. But this literally is the real advice. I'm sure a bunch of other people would tell you the same thing. You have to try to stand out and be different. Do what other people aren't doing. Obviously, it's hard in the community, but you know everyone's gaming. We're all doing the same stuff and streaming. But you know, people can fall in love with your personality. So the main thing that you need to do is every day be consistent. If you can't do it every day, you know, work your best schedule to work into that. You know what I'm saying? You have to be consistent. You actually actually have to want it and enjoy it, and uh, you know that's the best. You know, always always improve. You, every day has to be a little better, no matter what. As long as you do that, you'll get to someone. I would say consistency is definitely very underrated because people people will stream for a hundred days in a row and they're like, oh, I'm so consistent, I'm not seeing any uh, progression, and they stop streaming after a hundred days. Right, was the hundred and first day, the hundred and first day. You could have gotten hosted for like a thousand viewers by some. You never streamer. know. Like you, you never really know never know. It's all consistency. Yeah, Tyler, it's I mean. Stay grinding, really. Is. That, people hate to hear because they're like, like, oh, like, I'm doing more than that, but like, you, but you have to think about it. Every day like, you have to improve, bro, like, for no matter what it is. But um, I'm glad we all said the same thing. But for the future plans of Dare, expect dope shit, more lifestyle shit, more from all of us and all the whole Dare squad. Obviously, more killer montages content that's never going to stop. But. Just, just a lot, you know. This is, this is not even like, this is just getting started. Fortnite montage. Oh, yeah, he's got something cooking up, but all I can say is a little hint. Wait on it. Question number, I don't even know what from my boy Huddles. What are your future plans with Dare? We just answered that before, but he also said, are there some other things that are you're more excited to work on than others? And also, can we get some more details on the Dare House? Um, we just sold our future with the plans. Our, our, I mean, our future's <laughs> plans. Basically, bro, it's just sky's the limit. We have a lot of, you know, we have a vision and we're every day step by step to get there. And, uh, you know, we answered some of that before already. But about the Dare House, all I'm gonna say is that we're gonna have something for you guys, a house, obviously, for you guys, before 2019. So, you know, we got a few months left. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. And Awano, you still ain't getting that master bedroom, buddy. That's fine. <laughs> so yeah, we got something cooking up, and that's it. Huddles, shout out to you for answering that. Sneak peek. All right, guys, if you enjoyed our first ever episode of Dare to Ask, drop a like and comment on the video. Tell us that you want us to do more. Ask more questions in the comments. Yes. Maybe we'll pick some from the comments. Also, tweets we'll do. We'll ask for tweets again next Hell time. Yeah. This was, um, you know, I'm just glad we could do something simple like this. If you guys did enjoy, like Sam just said, let us know. Just tweet us right now. Hashtag Dare to Ask. You don't have to tweet anybody or tag anybody. You can just simply get the hashtag. Ask us anything to be featured in the next episode. It's been your boy, Tanzer. Tyler. Stats. And we out. Peace out.